Right now, live at 5. The railway that could bring passengers all the way from the Twin Cities to the Port of Duluth Superior could finally get some legislative support coming up. Plus, the Ashland community is rallying behind a birthing center that might be forced to move. Why locals say it's a resource that needs to stay. And if you're dreaming of camping and a trip to the BWCA, we have some good news for you coming up. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Briggs LaSavage. A rail project that would connect Duluth and the Twin Cities is a step closer to becoming a reality. This week, the Minnesota House passed a bill that would invest $80 million in the Northern Lights Express, or NLX. CBS 3's Quinn Gorham joins us now to explain what the new funding could mean for the project. Well, guys, the Northern Lights Express would run all the way from Minneapolis-St. Paul to Duluth Superior, with stops along the way in places like Cambridge, Hinkley, and even Sandstone being on there. All this makes the trip about two and a half hours, and now that the House has given a thumbs up, it's in the hands of the state Senate. Advocates say this is the closest the project has come to getting that major funding. Eighty million dollars is roughly 17 percent of what's needed to complete the railway. While that may not sound like a lot, the project can reach 20 percent of its funding through state dollars. The federal funding, or the federal government, could fund the remaining amount, and under the recently passed infrastructure law. About $16 billion is available for Amtrak projects, money NLX hopes to dip into. There are currently just 30 Amtrak projects in the, in the works nationwide. Project leaders say NLX is the only one ready to be constructed. Ken Bueller, who's been a proponent, says the timing couldn't be better to secure funding. Gas is almost $5 a gallon. We're very concerned about our green footprint and our carbon footprint. So we check all the boxes right now. This is the time to do it. And yes, we're as optimistic as we have been in the last 20 years. The bill faced opposition from the Republican Party when moving through the state house. With a Republican-led state Senate standing in the way of the bill becoming law, the funding will need bipartisan support in order to hit the governor's desk. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from a Republican state senator whose district would be directly affected by the project. All right, thank you, Quinn. Meanwhile, the former Minneapolis police officer found guilty of murdering George Floyd has appealed his conviction. Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison last June. A Hennepin County jury found him guilty of both second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Chauvin's attorneys claim the jury was intimidated by ongoing and sometimes violent protests during that trial they also claim there was too much pretrial publicity. Chauvin is asking the Minnesota Court of Appeals to reverse his conviction. He also wants a new trial in a new venue or for the judge to reconsider his sentence. Preliminary autopsy results released today confirm the death of a 10-year-old girl in Chippewa Falls was in fact a homicide. The coroner in charge of Lily Peters' autopsy spoke with our sister station today. He says Lily suffered strangulation and blunt force trauma. Those findings are consistent with what a 14-year-old suspect charged with her death told authorities. The teen says he intended to rape and kill Lily when they left a Chippewa Falls house together Sunday night. Lily's body was found on Monday morning. The suspect, who has not been named, knew Lily. A judge set his bail at a million dollars. A staple to families on the south shore of Wisconsin is at risk of losing the place they call home. For the last 10 years, the Ashland Birth Center has been located in a historical home, tucked away in a quiet city neighborhood. After a record-breaking year of births at that center, they recently learned the building's owner was selling the space come June. In an effort to save the vital resource, Savita Jones and her team of midwives and doulas went to work asking their community for help. They need to raise $55,000 by June in order to buy the building themselves and stay. We provide a unique experience where families can bring their birth experience into their everyday life. Birth is such a special time in a family's lives and many of our families have preferences about how they would like to see their care go and their, their birth go. So far, the center has raised almost $40,000 toward their goal. If you would like to donate, we have a link on our website. 
And coming up tonight at 10, the impact that this birth center has made on local mothers and families and why they say it's necessary that they stay. A Moose Lake teacher is about to find out if he made the grade. That is the entire Moose Lake student body cheering on their beloved teacher Brad Hubred during an assembly this afternoon. He's hitting the road for the Twin Cities tonight where he'll find out next week if he's Minnesota's Teacher of the Year. Hugh Brad is a middle school science teacher who is also one of 11 finalists for that big honor. His students say they are so proud of him. He is awesome. Like he's so fun and he's just amazing. He is so nice to people and he always has class so fun. Some of Hugh Brad's coworkers nominated him, citing his out of the box ideas and efforts to improve student mental health. A committee will interview Hugh Brad and the 10 other finalists on Saturday. Then they'll vote, and the winner will be announced at a banquet in St. Paul on Sunday. The temporary ban on poultry exhibitions in Minnesota has been extended. The Minnesota Animal Health Board has extended the ban another month. It comes as health officials continue to try and limit the spread of bird flu across the state. The ban applies to poultry swaps fairs, exhibitions, and other events where live and susceptible birds are brought together and then go their separate ways. The ban was supposed to end this coming Sunday, but will now last through June 1st. The outbreak poses a high risk to poultry, but a low risk to humans. Experts say there's also no food safety concerns at this point. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, a recent survey shows how people feel about limiting the state's, the state's wolf population. The Wisconsin Conservation Congress advises the DNR on different policies, including wolf hunting. That group recently put out its spring survey, and one question asked was how people feel about holding the state's wolf population to 350 animals. About 21,000 people responded, and more than half of them said they support that limit. The rest either didn't or didn't have an opinion. The Wisconsin DNR is currently considering changes to the state's wolf management team. Dave joins us now for a quick look at the weather. Dave, uh, another beautiful blue sky out there today, but a little, little chilly. Well, it started that way, but we've got two lows coming towards our area. The first is a really small wave that's bringing in the clouds as we speak and the chance for some light showers over tonight, night tonight through tomorrow. It's a bigger low that could be with us for the weekend. But first, I want to focus attention on that age-old situation we always keep our eyes open for, ice out. I heard earlier this morning that down south, places like Sturgeon Lake are 50% ice-free. But up north here, Robinson Lake near Ely, we can see it's still locked up pretty tight. Will we get there in time for fishing opener in just a couple of weeks in Minnesota? There's a chance we will because temperature-wise, on the fringes of our area, we're getting closer to normal. It's the heart of the region by the lake here where we're cooler by the lake. So. Hopefully that warm front coming our way is going to help nudge temperatures up and melt some ice, but it's going to bring some rain for the weekend. That smaller low, that's just showers through Friday. The bigger low brings potentially heavy rain for the weekend. Short-term forecast, well, 30% shower chance tonight and tomorrow. And if we get a tenth of an inch out of the deal here through Friday, that's about it. Over the weekend, we could be going towards a full inch plus. We'll talk about the odds of that precip coming around, coming up in just a bit. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, this isn't your average science fair. Details coming up on the big STEM festival returning to the Iron Range next week. CBS 3 News is brought to you by Ralph Eye Care Specialists. Now you can bring gorgeous, fresh, organic vegetables to your table in just three easy steps. Step one, go to gardenmats.com. Step two, use our garden planner to lay out your entire garden in order. Within days, garden mats are delivered from our factory right to your door. Step three, lay the mats down according to your design and plant. After that, spend your summer trying to keep up with each other, not your weeds. Go to gardenmats.com today. Blue Rock Grill features a seasonally rotating cocktail list as well as an extensive selection of sought-after spirits. Whether you're seeking a quick sandwich for lunch, a nap and a cocktail, or the perfect night out with friends, choose Blue Rock Grill. Located next to the Miller Hill Mall. 
Here at locally owned Adolfson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the property of your dreams with no extra fees. Take a look at this year-round home with 151 feet of waterfront on Tamarack Lake. Please call our Cloquet office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolfson Real Estate. Benders in Duluth has moved to a larger location and we've expanded our product selection. We now carry men's and women's shoes and clothing, youth footwear and apparel, and a variety of fun food and gift items. We still have the same friendly service, and our Pedorthus can help you find the perfect fit with a free foot evaluation. Find our new location in the Stone Ridge Plaza at 901 West Central Entrance in Duluth. When it comes to your next home project, hit a grand slam with your home improvement company. Your home improvement company is Minnesota's MVP contractor. They're great about touching base throughout your project. They aced my window replacement job, and their service is so good you might get a little choked up. Your home improvement company is on deck and ready to step up to the plate. They're the clutch contractor in Twins territory, even if their owner is a bit of a knuckleball. Hey, I'm just spitballing here. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from the deck tonight where the semi-annual junk hunt is underway. More than 100 vendors of vintage, antique, and refurbished goods will be packed into the deck for a weekend of shopping. Early birds got things going about an hour ago, and the event will run through Saturday. A portion of this year's ticket sales will be donated to Second Harvest Northern Lakes Food Bank. Dave will be in with this week's full forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a look around the region. Fishing management plans are under review in International Falls and Spring Trail cleanup in the Cable and Hayward area this weekend. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. We start off on the Iron Range tonight where an annual festival makes its return next week. May 3rd through the 5th is the 11th annual Iron Range Science and Engineering Festival at the Minnesota Discovery Center. The event will be back to the three-day in-person format after being virtual throughout the pandemic. The festival is completely donor and volunteer run and allows students from 11 Northland schools to get hands-on experience in several STEM-focused fields. Next, we head to International Falls, where fishing areas are under review. Several northern St. Louis County lakes near the eastern edge of Voyagers National Park are due for updates to their management plans. Crane, Franklin, Little Vermilion, Long, Loon, and Chupac are all under review. The public can comment until May 15th on the draft plan. That includes details on species presence, stocking fish, catch rates, and more. Details of the uh, under review plans can be found on our website. And we wrap up near Cable, Wisconsin tonight, where they are looking for volunteers this weekend. The Shawamigan Area Mountain Bike Association is doing some spring maintenance at the Hospital Gateway Trails. Cleanup begins Saturday at 9 a.m. and will be mostly clearing debris from recent ice storms off of the trail. If possible, they ask volunteers to bring steel rakes to help with moving brush. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, older than the lift bridge itself, how one Duluth company is celebrating 140 years in business. Duluth high temp today, 46 degrees, warmer than yesterday, but still 9 degrees off the mark for normal, which is 55. But inland, away from the cooling influence of the lake, some towns did get close to normal. Is that a sign of springs to come? Well, we sure hope so. Another sign could be some rain showers tonight that turns into a pretty good soaker for the weekend. We'll give you the latest rain estimates on that coming up after the break. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on 
on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. A Ford built for you by you. Get yours. Built from the ground up with your choice of colors, wheels, and other available features specifically designed for your Ford. Want a head-up display and escape? Seven goat modes in Bronco Sport? Or best in its class gas torque and Ranger? You got it. And now an additional 1500 bonus cash on top of all public offers. See your dealer for a Ford built for you by you. Your Northland Ford dealers thank you for making Ford the best-selling brand in the Twin Cities region. There's a feeling you get. When old meets new, the past meets the future. It's not comfortable, but it feels good. Duluth Pack, since 1882. Get your news on the go. The CBS3 mobile app. The railway that could bring passengers all the way from the Twin Cities to the Port of Duluth Superior could finally get some legislative support coming up. We have a slight chance for rain tonight with a bigger one to follow. Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. CBS 3 weather is brought to you by Heritage Window and Door. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, this morning was not as chilly as yesterday morning. So again, we'll call that one of the little mini signs of spring actually getting here eventually. Let's take a look at those numbers. It did dip into the teens in Ely and Waters Meet and up the Gunflint Trail, but much of the rest of the region was in the 20s. And even 30 degrees places like Superior, finally a bit on the warmer side. Turnabout is always fair play. Tomorrow, Superior, your high temperature may be one of the cooler here in the region. So, you know, nature is always knocking us down. If we get full of ourselves on one day with, oh, we've got the high temp, she takes it away come the next day. But the bottom line is uh, the noose of cooler by the lake is narrowing just a little bit. It's still indeed cooler by the lake, but the warmer areas inland are getting back towards normal. And again, that's hopefully another sign spring will get here. Right now at the airport in Duluth, it's only 42. Partial sunshine, clouds are filling in. As a small low, the first of two comes our way to bring a chance for some light rains tonight. Wind is easterly 18 miles per hour. Relative humidity is pretty low at 35%, and that's why rain showers tonight will be on the light side. What's coming down has to overcome the dry nature of the atmosphere, saturate it before the, the, it clears the path, so to speak, for the rest of the rain to come. Air pressure is high at the surface at 30.15 inches of mercury, but up aloft, an upper-level trough of lower pressure is clouding us up and bringing us that chance of light rain. Current temps, now here's what I'm talking about. Inland, we're getting into the 50s, or Big Fork, Grand Rapids, fairly close to the normal of 55. By the lake, Cloquet, the Twin Ports, up the North Shore and along the South Shore, only 30s and lower 40s. While you get to Solon Springs, we get the 50s, Hayward's got the 50s, and Ironwood and Watersmeet are in the 50s as well. So some towns are breaking the rule of cooler by the lake, but they're the exception, not the norm. What's coming our way now? Like I mentioned, the first of two low pressure systems is coming our way. The first is an upper level trough. It's fairly weak, dealing with a dry atmosphere. So we're seeing showers in western Minnesota, but it's only a 30% chance they'll survive the trip into the rest of the region tonight and through tomorrow night and pay off with about a tenth of an inch of rain. Maybe a few scattered flurries tonight when temperatures cool. So there's that first trough, the weaker one. Here's a more substantial low building in from the southwest and leading with its warm front. So hopefully that's taking our temperatures up for the weekend, but it's also creating a chance for some pretty decent rain totals both Saturday and Sunday. And by Sunday night when this thing wraps up here, I'm thinking northern Minnesota could be running about a half of an inch to even an inch and a half. And into Wisconsin and Michigan, it looks like a similar story, about a half inch for places like Hayward to an inch in Solon Springs. Over towards the UP, maybe lesser totals there towards about a third of an inch. But many communities do still need rain, so let's get it and get it over with. Now, tonight, here's what we get. 30% shower chance in Minnesota with lows in the 30s. Wisconsin, Michigan, 30% shower chance, lows in the 30s. Tomorrow's highs in Wisconsin, Michigan, they're superior at only 42, while 47 to 55 for the rest of that region. 30% shower chance. Minnesota gets that shower chance with a similar range of temperatures. 
but it turns into boom, 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 a 90% chance for rain on Saturday, a 70% chance for persistent showers on Sunday. That's why we have the chance for the decent totals by Sunday night. Come Monday and Tuesday, we're in the netherworld again. We've got the clouds, but not the rain. And at least by the lake here, still cooler by the lake. Next Thursday's a sign even we'll get back into the 50s by the lake. It could be 50 with partial sunshine. Thanks, Dave. Are you planning a trip to the BWCA soon? Well, if you are, you can pick up your permits starting on Sunday. The document allows for overnight camping, paddling, hiking, and motorized day trips. The Forest Service says permit holders need to take the leave no trace and tread lightly informational session before entering the wilderness. They say while permit season is here, spring and summer temps are not. They ask visitors to be aware of cold water and ice safety. Officials also ask that you're aware of bear activity when heading into the forest. For more information, you can head to cbs3duluth.com. A Duluth business is celebrating its long-standing legacy. Duluth Pack is marking 140 years in business. The shop is the oldest canvas and leather bag and pack maker in the country, and it's also among the oldest businesses in Duluth. Duluth Pack reps say the company has faced many challenges over the last century. We're older than penicillin. We're older than sliced bread. Our company has survived two world wars, the Great Depression, the 2008 recession, and then came out the global pandemic growing in 2020. To celebrate this milestone, the company is launching its legacy pack, which gives a nod to Duluth Pack's founder. It's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets, and today's pet comes to us from Range Regional Animal Rescue in Hipping. <laughs> and calling all the single ladies, <laughs> this is the guy for you. His name is Pumbaa. He's five and a half years old and a Carolina dog greyhound mix. Our friends at the shelter say he's a really good dog, but experienced a tough life at his first home. So he's very protective of people and doesn't do well with meeting new men. A shelter employee who's had him at their home for the past few days told us once he calms down, Pumbaa is a great companion and he spends <laughs> most of his day napping. That's very Aww. sweet. They really <laughs> want to find him a good, loving home who's willing to be his forever friend. Oh yes. my goodness. We actually featured Pumbaa back in September, yeah. I believe, and he, so he's been at the shelter for eight months, they told us. I believe they said he's one of their longest yeah. residents. Oh, yeah, well, if you meet those qualifications we mentioned, go meet Pumbaa. He's yes. a real sweet guy. His ears are just too cute not <laughs> to go. Oh man, yeah. Could be a great friend for someone. Definitely. Still to come, Holocaust survivors from around the world are coming together to promote peace. Their message after the break. Hey, you guys remember when we went on this trip? Yeah. Remember, Daddy, when you helped that nice lady across the street? Remember when you blew up those blue nanos for that little kid's birthday party? That's awesome. Remember when you helped fix the neighbor's satellite hey, dish? You think you can help people fight back against insurance companies? Yes, I can. Are you looking to be trained in a new career with plenty of room for advancement? Renewal by Anderson of the Lake Superior Region is seeking skilled laborers, administrators, and detail-oriented individuals to expand their experience and window product knowledge. With paid training and a generous benefits package, including health and dental insurance, retirement match, 529 plan support, PTO, HRA, IRA plans, and much more, this is a company you'll love working for. Come join our team, stacked with experts and supportive leadership, while enjoying a fun and welcoming work environment. Visit rbalakesuperiorcareers.com to apply today. Link RV is proud to provide our customers with the largest RV service facility in northern Wisconsin. With an enormous parts and accessories department and technicians with over 100 years of combined RV service experience, we'll keep you camping all season long. Link RV, where reputation is everything. Oh, is that what I think it is? The new DQ All-Star Summer Blizzard lineup? Boom! Oh, that's Girl Scout Thin Mints. New Oreo Dirt Pie Yum, Drumstick with Peanuts, Cotton Candy, oh, more summer flavors, official treat of MLB. I'm going to eat them all. This is fun. Hey, does that mean we won? Oh, but it was close. Oh, yeah, I hear you. But just looking around, like, that's a lot of smiles, so looks like a win to me. DQ, happy tastes good. So here's what we won't do. We won't let self-doubt win again. Because together... Come on, Riley. We're working on something more real. Elbows in. With a real planet coach for real 360 support. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. 
In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission products. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our clients' best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep. We do better when our clients do better. At Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Mother's Day is fast approaching, and finding the perfect gift is easy at Numi Jewelers. We have a wide variety of gorgeous jewelry made for mom. Come shop with us. True love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. We're getting the band back together. I'm just so excited to be back with Kristen on the Anchor Desk. It's been so long, but it feels like it's been no time at all. Yeah. I feel like we just have a great connection and having someone come on to the show who loves the area as much as I do, who knows the area as well as I do. Like, she's from here. I mean, it's it's the perfect fit. Live local to a T. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Kristen and Briggs at 5 and 6 p.m. Anti-Semitic incidents have reached a record high in the U.S. as millions around the world mark Holocaust Remembrance Day. Survivors of the Nazi atrocities say hatred toward Jews needs to stop. CBS's Tina Krause reports from London. Sirens sound across Israel, bringing life to a standstill to remember the six million Jews and millions of others who died in the Holocaust. Really amazing to see the whole country stop for two minutes. But on this Holocaust Remembrance Day, anti-Semitism across the U.S. shows no signs of stopping. A new report from the Anti-Defamation League reveals violence, harassment and vandalism against Jewish people reached a record high last year with more than 2,700 reported incidents. The U.S. has the largest Jewish population outside Israel, and the number of anti-Jewish hate crimes recorded in New York and Los Angeles nearly doubled in 2021, according to a worldwide study from Tel Aviv University. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. 100 Holocaust survivors from across the world united to deliver a message on the dangers of unchecked hate. Never again. Roman Holler says it all starts with hate. It's important to fight against this hate. Valerie Bendersky escaped the Holocaust when he was just seven years old. Now he's left Ukraine for Israel to feel safe. He sings, we fled from Putin in Ukraine the way we once fled from Hitler. With anti-Semitism on the rise, he's joining the calls for peace. Tina Kraus, CBS News. Not everyone who lived through the Holocaust have escaped the war with Russia. This month, a 91-year-old woman died in a basement in the war-torn city of Mariupol. We'll be right back. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Come on down to Hannah Johnson Fabrics and Sewing Studio in Lakeside Marketplace. Don't know where to start? Visit our new sewing classroom and studio. Whether you're a brand new sewist or you've sewn for years, we have a class for you at Hannah Johnson Fabrics. We'll help you get your projects going with our huge selection of high-quality designer and specialty fabrics. Our friendly staff will help you find exactly what you need. Come see us in person or register for classes online at hannahjohnsonfabrics.com. Tired of your glasses fogging up or an uncomfortable dry feeling from your contact lenses? Let us clear your vision with refractive surgery. Our LASIK and PRK certified eye doctors are board certified ophthalmologists that provide exceptional eye care solutions. LASIK and PRK surgery can correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism with minimal discomfort and little downtime. Call now for your free LASIK or PRK consultation at Ralph Eye Care Specialist, the Northland's leader in all laser LASIK and PRK surgery. You experience so many moments in your home, and Kida helps you protect every moment. Materials in today's homes cause fires to burn faster, leaving you as little as two minutes to get to safety. So check your smoke and carbon monoxide alarms and replace them if necessary. Ensure that you have the right equipment for all areas of your home. Right now, get 11% off all Kida home safety products at Menards. 
I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. We're here at the White House with the President of the United States. Thanks for having me. Our exclusive access to the presidential platform. We will witness yet another moment in history. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Thursday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight at 5, we dove into new legislation that puts the Northern Lights Express one step closer to reality. A bill that proposes about 17% of the funding needed for the project has passed through the Minnesota State House, but still faces the Senate. Advocates are excited, however, saying this is the closest the project has come to major funding. And tonight at 6, during her State of the City address, Duluth Mayor Emily Larson announced a new downtown task force aimed at keeping downtown safe and full of life. That group had their first meeting today, their plans, tonight at 6. That's your News at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6.